Good morning, everybody. Um, my name's Alison. Um, I'm a reseller in the UK, predominantly on eBay. And this is just my third video. And today I thought I would show you around my workspace, my unit that I rent at the other side of town. I come here every day um, in the morning and I pick my orders from the previous day. I pack them here. I then take photographs of things that I've listed at home. I then go back home and I will stick the stickers on and get them down to the sorting office. Um, I spend quite a bit of time here, not so much over the last few weeks, obviously, because it's been Christmas and New Year. Um, but today's my first day back working properly. Though saying that tomorrow I'm off to Glasgow Hopefully I might do a bit of sorting there, I don't know. Um, see how it goes. So anyway, this, I'll keep it short. There's not much to show you, to be honest. Um, and I'll just show you what I've got going out today. I've only got four items, but it's quite a quirky mix, uh, which is quite interesting. So this is where I work. Right, here we go. Um, this is my unit. I'll just give you a quick, like trying to make you feel, it's only tiny. I've got my, I've got two mannequins, I've got this mannequin here, which was just a cheapie from eBay, I think it was about £20, and my lighting unit again from eBay. This tiny mannequin here, it's just one of those half ones, um, I picked this up at a car boot sale, it's just one that hangs on the wall, I didn't think I would use it that much, but... I found that I use it quite a bit, which is quite rude there with nothing on. Um, sometimes I stick t-shirts and that on, there things that are smaller sizes. And my backdrop, as you can see, I've just had it papered in sort of like a neutral. So I've got a neutral background. And then I've got this screen, which I picked up um, from a antiques and collector's fair for £10 and then what I do is I just put it up against that wall so if I've got anything light and it, it still shows up. Um, one heater because it is very very cold in here and I don't know if you can hear but I've got another little fan heater over there. Um, it is really cold in here because as you can see the old fashioned windows I don't have any double glazing and it gets really really cold and because of the size of the windows, they're quite big windows and um, and I've got windows over there as well. Um, it's very, very cold in here in the winter and boiling in here in the summer. So, and I do have a fire door there, which I could open, but when I open it, I can't get it back closed again. So it stays closed. <laughs> so uh, I thought actually when I took this unit that the windows, because it's so light in here, it would be great but actually it's more of a hindrance because um, when the sun is really shining not so much today as you can see there not got much shadow but when the sun comes in you get these um, these frames showing up on that wall um, and it's a bit of a pain so even if I've got my lighting on I'm still getting shadows and it's I just wish really I had the choice of two units one downstairs um, with no windows and this with the two big windows and I wish really now I'd chosen the one downstairs because listen I can put my lighting on and it gets rid of the the awful shadows but it's nice up here I do like it it is a nice working space even though it's quite small um, these are my boxes I don't have them in any particular order I'm not very organized and I have lost things in the past so um and that's the main thing i would say to anybody if they're just starting out is from day one is to make sure you've got some kind of system i'm making you dizzy here this is what i do now um i got this idea from karen sells clothes um she has these cadex units and um i picked this one up for 20 pounds it's got some damage at the back um, but it's okay for what I want and I'd like really them to go all the way around the room and then possibly block off that window which gives me all the trouble with the with the shadows 
Um, this is a rail of coats that are all listed. Um, this one I particularly, I think it's fantastic. And I'm really surprised, I don't know if you can see that, it hasn't gone. But I love that. It's Jane Norman. And I don't think I've got that much of a price on it. I think I've only got it on for about 18 19 pounds and this is another one i'm quite surprised hasn't gone it's a barney's denim jacket and it's um quilted inside got that fur line collar i thought that would have gone as well by now um this is where i just keep a few books and what have you i i used to get these hello fashion magazines they're quite good um and they're not very expensive I don't tend to get them anymore though. Um, this is where I keep my books. I don't really do books much, but I did have a go with Amazon. I didn't like it. Um, so I shan't be doing that again. I've got a box of ties, a couple of mugs. This chimp one's quite nice. Um, I keep some of my jewelry in this big box. A um, couple of little games. I've got some cross stitch here. Uh, I've got a cross stitch actually going out this morning. And I managed to get a great bargain. I was at the car boot sale in Glasgow. And there was a lady there and she had... Well, actually it was the um, Girl Guides group. They was raising money and for a trip. And they had a ginormous big bag of cross stitch and all brand new in the packets obviously somebody oops mr monkey's gone donated to them and i said well how many how much do you want for the whole bag and one lady said oh 30 pounds and then the other lady said oh no 20 will do so i quickly gave them my 20 pounds and i'd only actually i'd sold two similar to this i think one was hilltop in cumbria the beatrix potter one and the other one was I think it was a Winnie the Pooh um, and that was my money back so I've just really I've just listed these overnight and um, I've sold one already which is going out today and I've also got about nearly three quarters of a bag left to list um, I occasionally pick up ceramics I don't like that because I just don't like packaging them um, these are, I picked Mr Monkey up, I actually haven't got him listed, I've got two, but they're mine. <laughs> um, these are the boxes I started out with, which are totally um, crap really for what you need, but I started off by storing, before I had the unit in my bedroom, and these just went up against the wall and they didn't look as bad as the big plastic things and they was hidden away, but I'm slowly doing away with those. And my eld well, second eldest daughter, she is also doing a bit of reselling now. So as I empty them, she gets them and she puts them in her bedroom. Um, this is my spray that I use. Um, I don't I only wash things if they particularly need it. If they just need a very quick freshen up, then that is a cap full of comfort just in water and I sometimes give them a quick spray with that. In here I've got all my bangles which I've got listed. This is just um, jewellery which I put on my mannequin sometimes if I'm dressing a piece up just to brighten it up a bit. My tea and coffee area which I always use. This is where I do um, my packaging this is what I've got going out today I just made a note of it here um, I usually wrap in tissue paper and then I printed off some of these which I just cut out um, it's before I had my label um, thing I just cut these out and I stick them on with one of these which um, I get from eBay sometimes I don't bother I just stick them on with sellotape and now I've got my debobbler, string, just other crap. 
that's my steamer which I don't use very often I tend I'm very old-fashioned and tend to use the iron and the ironing board um, but one thing that I can say is that I'm quite good at ironing um, <laughs> I did ironing for years and years um, self-employed I still got one customer today which I'm doing her ironing later and um, yeah and I'm, I'm not bad at ironing and I find it a lot easier for me and quicker than steaming I will steam if I have to if I've got a silk dress or something my wee picture sitting on the wall um, this is some of my shoes just some of them this is where I keep my bags and more tissue paper boxes down there there's more shoes I've got shoes up here as well like the boxes I showed you earlier which I'm absolutely loving it's just so much easier to have everything organized um, these bags down here are actually things of mine which I live in a very small house and um, I don't have a lot of storage and they're just a few summer bits of mine I thought I'd bring up here um, this rail here is actually an old rail that is now broken but I put I usually got um, bubble wrap and I usually have it on this bar here I've just recently ran out nice Christmas dress there that didn't sell I was quite surprised about that I thought it was quite <laughs> quite quirky you can't really see it I thought it was quite nice it got Santa and his reindeer I really thought that would go but it wasn't to be these are all items that I've listed which I don't tend to put them in boxes if I think they're going to crease or they're just too big and bulky this is my rail of things that are you can't see because it's so small in here this is my rail of things that I need to list they're things that they've been hanging around for a while it's things that when I bought them I thought oh yeah they're great and now I just can't be bothered to list them but they will get done um this is a skirt suit it's pure linen and i've had it it was one of the first things i ever bought about a year ago and i still haven't listed it i think at one point i listed it and then i found a small mark and i had to um wash it and then somehow the listing the draft got deleted and i never got around to doing it again there is a skirt that goes with it which is what i must have washed i can't find that now um, I sell the odd bag that I think I've listed. No, I haven't listed that yet. That's got to be listed. My rubbish corner. Under here, I've got things like blankets, um, some vintage duvet covers, things like that. And that's that for in here. So as you can see, there's not much to it. Um, it's, it's an old, um, this building is actually an old dairy. Before that it was a slaughterhouse. And this was their tea room. I'm going to show you now, I'll just walk you through it into the other room. As you can see I'm quite um, restricted in there now because um, I don't have much space left. So I'm now renting this room as well. Saying that I say I'm, I'm renting it I'm, at the moment. Um, just put the light on. That's better. At the moment, um, the owner still has some crap in here, so she hasn't started charging me. It's got a lot of damage. It's not got a very big window. I have to give access to the lady that's got um, a bakery downstairs, so she can come in and put the gas on. Um, but she's okay. She's fine. Also downstairs there is a dog groomer, that's in this side of the building and then the other side is just offices. So this is where I basically put a lot of crap, um, there's my packaging, boxes if I've got anything big going out. I tend not to send too many big things because simple reason being I send them Hermes and the nearest Hermes drop off point is 15 miles away. Sorry, 10 miles away. So um, it's just a bit too far. Unless I'm going there for something else, which I don't normally, then um, it's 
you know, unless I've got a really high priced item, it's not really worth it. This is where I keep all my games. Again, I don't really like doing games. Thought I'd pick up a few to try. They have done well over Christmas, but I don't think I shall be doing many more. These are all the bags. Um, I just use these padded envelopes for jewellery. Um, that's what I would put like the big fat bangles in. And then I've got the smaller bags. Oh, I did have the smaller bags somewhere. Must be at the bottom of there. Again, I've got some, that's a vintage um, duvet cover and pillowcase that needs listing. There's some more jewellery there in the bottom. Um, that's all to be listed. Haven't got around to it yet. I've got plenty to list and I'm not intending on buying much at all over the next month. I bought these, um, I forget where I got these from now. Can't remember. I didn't pay much for them. I think there was about fifty pence each. I've got them on. I think for one ninety nine free postage. I thought they would go over Christmas. Since I've had them, I've sold about five. So that was a bit of a fail. Um, but you can't win them all. Um, I bought this unit from. Is it Wish? Um, didn't take too long to come. A couple of weeks, and I've got another one there which I need to put up. Again, packaging um, down there. That's uh, I think it's uh, is it C? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember now. I think it's a C, a vintage CD player. Um, more shoes. These are all listed, and some jackets, coats. This here, I've had. That was something else. This one here. I've had that. It's a little short sleeved animal print jacket. Um, it's a Charay one, and it was one of the first things I picked up. And I think I would still pick it up. You can't really see it very well. Um, I think I would still pick it up now, but it's never sold, and I haven't got much on it again. But anyway, that's my other room there. We try not to look at this bit try just to look at this bit this corner here as i say i can't complain about that rubbish because she hasn't even started charging me for the room yet and she's pretty reasonable and good the only thing i've got to do so walk back through here switch the light off this is sort of like a communal um area where you can make tea and things that's the loo is my door and it's sticking like I can't close it properly and then I have to kick it open right, I'll just turn you around again right I don't know what happened there I think I um it it stopped and paused and now I'm back again hopefully I'm not very good at this just yet I am getting better fingers crossed right this is um Part of a bundle that I got just before Christmas, I paid £10 for a big basket full of jewellery. I think I showed you some of it. And um, this was one of the pieces that I picked up out of it. I don't know if you can see that. But it's, um, it's pewter. And it's um, Frederick da Pewter. And they're in Canada. And it's uh, an Inuit guide pendant i think inuit is is how you pronounce it and it's um a guide pendant and that went for a quite rare and they went for 21.99 free postage so i was really pleased with that because the whole bundle only cost me 10 pounds and i've got loads in there it will last me for ages um i also sold ah oh, these shoes a pair of next shoes I know some people don't sell necks. I quite like selling necks. They're excellent condition. I would probably say they'd only been worn once or twice. And they went for $18.99 plus postage and packing. This was the cross stitch I was telling you about. Um, that went for $9.99. That was out of the bundle that cost me £20. So again, pleased with that. 
And last but not least, I've got much going out, but a real mix, I think, today, um, was this game. It's a vintage Jacks, Miles, Kimball, Kings in the Corner card game. I've just read that off my <laughs> listing. And that went for £12 plus free postage. So um, I think I've sealed it now. I'm not sure. I think yeah, I've sealed it. But that's, I mean, it's in really good condition. It is vintage. Um, I don't know how they play it. They obviously sit all around like that and do it. Right, okay. So I, I can't, I don't know if I can flip you back round only by stopping and starting again. So I won't do that. Um, I'll leave you with that little picture there. And I'm off to Glasgow tomorrow. If I do pick up anything, I'll probably um do another short video just to show you what i've got um but i hope you have a really good weekend lots of sales um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and press the oh what's it called i don't know <laughs> the bell press the bell and um, like it please if you did like it you can always comment below if you didn't like it um, you don't have to um, don't have to like it if you don't want to um, but any comments at all good or bad I'm quite open to them I've got quite a thick skin and it would be nice to know what you think and also what you would like to see in the future so anyway that's my workspace this is where I come every day and I enjoy it you know it's sometimes it feels like my second home if I'm here quite a bit and I'm very, I, I do appreciate that I've got it. I couldn't run my business without it because I live in such a small house. Um, but that's it. And on a nice day, I've got quite a good view over there, maybe. <laughs> it's not a very good rip. They're doing work opposite. They've just let out the other unit and they're putting in drainage. So not so good today. But in the summer, it's not bad. It could be worse. I get to see the clouds float by. Okay then, so I'll see you again soon. Have a good one. Bye then.